DHG here playing Terminator Resistance. It's gonna be the DLC here, the Annihilation Line campaign. Okay, I wasn't sure if continue would take me straight to it or not. All right, if you like my content, do subscribe. If you would like to donate to help keep my channel alive, there is a web address in the description box. Let's get this shit started. If you didn't watch the first video, please do so. It kind of gives you an idea of what this DLC was about because when I saw the name, Annihilation Line, it gave me the Im Oh, hold on a second. I need to move my mouse. That's why it's jerking back and forth like that. Ugh. There we go. Flip that sucker upside down. Oh, sorry. Bump the mic. All right. But when I saw the name Annihilation Line, I kind of got the implication and the impression that this was going to be some sort of a DLC that was going to be all-out war against the machines, showing you what happened on the Annihilation Line when the machines started assaulting the humans and, you know, the military got wiped out, all that shit. No, that's not what it is. It would have been cool, though. I'd love to see that, but... Man, that would have would have been really hard to render. They would really have to have squeezed all the creative juices out of their brains to get that one on into a video game. Here's Pharaoh's Diary. Pharaoh was one of my squad mates at the moment. I never understood why you bothered with this diary, Brooks. I think Brooks is dead. They sort of inferred that in the last episode. You'd always have to sit with your pen before you joined us at the fire. But now, I'm reading through it. I get it. This diary is us. It's our team. The laughs we had, the shit we got each other through. Every little thing. Down to our arguments and who's going to ride shotgun. Shit. It's a record of our fucked up little family. It's partly a record of me. I can't bear the thought you'll never fill it. So many blank pages would probably have been easier just to burn this thing and forget it all. But I need a new damn flint for my Zippo. So instead, I'll try to continue on where you left off. Starting now. This is the little shelter that they have set up at the moment. It used to be a... I don't remember if they said it was a resistance base... Or if it was where just a bunch of survivors were. Probably both. Sarge, any new orders from HQ? Not yet. For now, we're on our own. I have Pharaoh searching for any intel we may have missed yesterday. We'll see what yep. comes up. Yep, Kyle Reese. What do we know so the far, The Kyle sir? Reese from Terminator 1. the intel that we have. I got some theories, but nothing concrete. I'm curious to hear what you think happened here. Where do you think those people went? I think they just vanished. I think they ended up on the back of the Haleybot Comet. Baron mentioned they were waiting for evacuation. Maybe they already left. That was my initial thought, too. But one thing kept bothering me. An entire outpost wouldn't just move unsupervised. They would need a squad from another division to guard them to safety. That's the protocol. The escort is required to report that I don't know if you guys are seeing it, so but I'm seeing, seeing some sort of graphical errors right now around his neck area. They Unless keep popping was, in and out. Someone decided to break protocol. As I didn't see, notice it when I recorded the last episode. At this point, we just have to keep our eyes open. Speaking of which, do you mind checking on Pharaoh? I'm waiting for a status report from her. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see if it keeps popping up moving around here was right in the center of the screen where the crosshairs were no I'm not seeing it now all right I leveled up time to get some more skills let's see explosives or science Let's blow shit up. Well, that's a really, really bad why. 
stall in lines. Where are you at, Pharaoh? Come here, bitch. I want to play hide and seek. God damn it. Gut for dumped. What's up? I'm trying to get inside the armory, but I suck at this. I'd love to do it the usual way and blow this door wide open, but Reese doesn't want us to make too much noise. Can you help me? Move out of the way, bitch. I get this done. Hacking. Nice job, Rivers. Huh. Bummer. There's barely anything left. That first one Just looked like, like a chocolate bar. Shotgun shells. Yeah, they're uh not really useful for me. Trade them in for trade resources, that's about it. Termination knife. I never use these things just because I'm not a stealth player. I'm not a big fan of stealth games. I have a few. Like, I got the Dishonored games just because you can play them either way. I also have... One of the Thief games on Xbox, the original Xbox, and then I got the Thief remake for PS4, which I might do a How Bad Is It on it at some point, but... I know how bad it is, and I really don't want to play through it. You mentioned a bet. What'd you mean? Plus, Evans the maps in the Thief remake were confusing left. as fuck. I didn't think much of it at first, but an empty armory certainly is a head scratcher. I guess we've got to keep looking. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to do a sweep of the entire. She kind of looks like she was a slightly remodeled Jennifer, just by it's the way her face is built and her eyes and. Can you eyebrows. Grab Evans and see if the two of you can clear it? Sure. I'll let him know. Looks like same base model, just modified it a little bit. Certainly doesn't look like Baron. What do you think about this whole situation? What do you think about this whole situation? I just said that. I think it's obvious something fucked up happened here. Hey, watch your mouth, I'm just lady. I'm mad at myself that I didn't see this coming. How so? Well, whenever Reese gets a direct order from Connor, something's off. I don't know what the deal is between them. They always keep their cards close. You like so, to keep your cards anywhere else? More than I'd like it to, that's for sure. I just wish Reese included me since I'm always on these missions anyway. You're not in the need to know. What's Reese like? What's Reese like? Uh, you've worked with him for a long time. You want to know what Kyle Reese is like? He's like stone or steel. Stallman. Nothing ever gets to him. For better or worse. What do you mean? This is the first time we've been able to take a minute to ourselves since the failure of our last mission, you know? And he's been up all day trying to figure out our next move. He's able to just disconnect, work himself tirelessly. He's the commander. He's got a command. Even if a lot of shit happened. He cares for his people. I'm sure it's because he cares for his people. I'd say that he cares for the mission more than his people. And here I am trying to hold it together, thinking about... Ah, uh, the ultimate ethical lost. question for commanders in the Not field. The mission the or the man? Well, you wanted to know about Reese, not me. That's She's jealous. What, like. what didn't you ask about what I'm Rivers, like? Report to the communication I haven't felt have the touch of a man in years. There ain't none of that gay shit in this game. It's all heterosexual. Thank God. I get so tired of games nowadays enforcing that DEI bullshit having to have a gay relationship in it. And if you haven't been watching the drama on Assassin's Creed Shadows, oh my god, Ubisoft is getting fucked up so bad. I'm enjoying watching this unfold. It's great. DEI is finally collapsing, maybe in two years or so we can start getting back the triple A games not having any of that shit in it whoa what the hell's going on with that 
look at these three items here. This, this, this. It's, they're like moving in an odd way, almost as if they're floating. Pretty neat. Oh yeah, I gotta go talk to talk to the big guy down here that doesn't talk much. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna talk to the mountain. Yeah. That Pharaoh mentioned there's a back room nearby that needs checking. He kind of reminds me of a super me? mutant from Fallout 3. Man job. Just let me know when. There it is again. Shit's popping up. It only does that in these cutscenes. Let's go check that room. I'm ready. Let's go and see what's in that room. No need to talk to you. You're not much of a talker. Seth, is it true? What they said in the car? That you took down a Terminator with your bare hands? It's yep. true. I fisted Actually, him to death. I didn't even know someone could do that. I was angry. Now focus. We have a job to do. Don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. This is it. How do you want to do this? Ugh. Oh. Check what's inside. I'm heading back. All right. Go throw someone around like a rag doll. Freaking ape. Oh, look at all these surprise. Hey, some kegs in here. Actually, if that were filled with something like stout or one of the really, really darker beer beers, that would still be drinkable. But if that's lager, you're fucked. Giving to the needy. To all it may concern, I would like to rem... <clears throat> Pardon me. I would like to remind you that helping our hermit friend outside the shelter is something you do at your own discretion. It was his choice to live outside. Don't think you can tempt him in here to live with us. He has been seen with explosives and some of us consider him to be dangerous. So if you must interact with him, please follow these rules. Leave supplies well away from the hideout and out of sight. Avoid direct contact where possible. And please, use personal protective equipment. Better safe than sorry. Is this where you are? Sarge, I've got a hold of some intel regarding someone who used to live just outside the shelter. Permission to follow the lead. Permission granted. Just remember, we don't want to alert Skynet to our presence here. So I need you to move undetected. Copy that. Yeah. Jacob Rivers. You gotta be stealthy. Oh, okay. Lost my bearings for a second. This way. It just looks weird. Normally they put like heavy machine guns on pickup trucks, but... I suppose you could take that part of the roof off of a car and just, you know, use that. Whatever works. <clears throat> war is war. And when you're fighting to win, all bets are off. Skynet's eyes on us right now. Yes, father. Candy bars and lockpicks. Smack that shit. Uh, 
I read a book and I got new skills. Oh, did, almost missed that. Check this way out first. Anything over here? Diary. Get back here, you little fucker. You don't have enough skills. The fuck? Man, I tell you, he can really crouch down. Huh. Hermit's Diary. I've got to keep you a secret, Cindy. They don't know how special a rat you are. One sniff is all you need to tell a human from a tin can. That's why they're always trying to lure you away from me with food. But we can see them for what they really are. The human faces. The resistance uniforms. They're taking the people that were set up in the Galleria. Oh sure, this might look like your average evac job. But there hasn't been even one drone flying over us since they've been here. It's as if Skynet knows what's going on already. How could that be, eh? But they won't get you. They won't take you away from me. Even if you're not there, I'll protect you myself. I've come to our hideout nicely to give them a very warm welcome. This doesn't Kinda reminds sense. me of that guy's obsession with the rat in the, uh, what was that movie? The Green Mile. Report this to Reese. You can hear the rat running around. Oh, there it is. What happens if you kill it? I'm not going to do it. But for the sake of the gameplay... <laughs> Sorry, Cindy. You're dead. Oh, almost walked right into that one. Be like, that's what you get for killing the rat, you fucker. What did it ever do to you? Doity rat. Oh, that's that. The 
thought maybe there was something else in there. Yeah, I'll trade. Get rid of this shit here. I'm not going to be using them. I don't do the whole stealth thing. I can't trade circuits? Apparently not. Okay. Can I even interact with him right now? Oh, I got another skill point? Shit. Explosives or crafting. I like blowing things up. Now, I could go back and get all those trip bombs, but I'm not gonna. I don't know if I have the correct circuits to make this work. Let me look through these. I could make this work. But that's the only one. Sergeant, what's going on? Someone used an emergency broadcast system to deliver a message. One of ours? Judging by how inaccurate the message is, it's more likely sent by a civilian. One of our missing residents? That's what we'll need to figure out. It's our best lead so far. I found something. A note from someone who witnessed Northridge being evacuated. By what appeared to be resistance soldiers. That's right. That's what I was afraid of. Good job, Rivers. Now that we're certain of what happened here, there's no other way but to follow the signal. Then we're moving out soon? No. We leave at dusk. I don't want us to move around in daylight. Oh, and Rivers? There's something else about that message that concerns me. It's been sent from somewhere inside Bakersfield. Isn't that just on the edge of the Annihilation Line? That's right. We're moving out as soon as it gets dark. Now's the time to rest. Yeah, my character just got up a little bit ago, but he's always tired. We've received permission from HQ to follow the signal. Next stop is Bakersfield. That's two hours away from the nearest resistance outpost. So if it gets too heated, there's no chance of support? That's right. Anyone have a problem with that? No, sir. I've got one thing, Sarge. Farrell. Shotgun. Shotgun? I only brought my rifle. Oh. Okay, forget it. I think everybody knows someone like that. Alright, I'll be cutting this one off here.